Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be about dealing with feelings of sadness and grief, just that overall feeling of weight of heaviness on your shoulders. I have personally been going through a, a rough time. I lost a childhood friend. Um, she was she was sick and I knew she was sick, but I didn't realize how sick she was. And we had been in contact last month and then we got this news I got this news this month and it's just been really shocking and sad and she has a son who's my son's age and it's just really hit me hard. And on top of that, other friends that that we have, their their daughter was recently diagnosed with a rare form of leukemia. And it's just been really overwhelming. And sometimes, you know, that we we go through these patches in life where where we're dealing with some heavy stuff. And unfortunately, sometimes it does seem that like one thing kind of just like compounds on top of on top of the next. And that's just where I'm at right now. So I figured it would be beneficial for me to do a little bit of tapping on this. And I hope that it will be beneficial to those of you who are dealing with sadness and grief in whatever form that that's happening in your life. So if you're new around here, my name is Lauren Nicole Fonville. I'm an integrative energy practitioner and I specialize in EFT tapping. So tap along with me, tap where I'm tapping, repeat after me. Even though I've been feeling really sad lately, I love and accept myself. Even though I've been feeling really sad, and it's been a challenging few weeks. I'm honoring all of these feelings. Even though I've been really sad and I feel it in my heart, I love and accept myself. All of this sadness, it's so heavy. So much sadness. Sadness. I'm trying to wrap my head around it all. All of the sadness. like a heaviness on my chest. I'm sad. I'm allowed to be sad. All of this stuff sucks. I'm sad about losing my friend. I'm sad about what my other friends are going through. I'm sad. Even though I'm sad, it's okay. And I love and accept myself anyway. Even though this sadness is really heavy, I know that I'll get through it. Even though I don't understand why all of these things are happening and it's hard to wrap my head around, I'm acknowledging my feelings and I'm holding space for the sadness. All the sadness. All of this sadness. It's like a weight on my chest with a it's like a rising sensation to my throat. It's ball in my throat. A 
it makes me sad. It makes me think about how precious life is. It makes me think about how the silly little things don't matter. How I can waste energy on the small stuff. That doesn't matter. And I hate that it takes tragedy to have that awareness. Even though I feel sad, it's okay to feel sad. That makes sense that I'm sad. I'm allowed to be sad. It's sad. Even though I'm sad and I don't like feeling sad, that's just how it is right now. Even though I'm sad and it's heavy. And it's overwhelming. That's just where I am. That's just where I am. Carrying around this sadness. But also making me think about gratitude. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for this life. I'm sad and grateful at the same time. It's a lot of emotion. Feeling sad, yet grateful. This heaviness. Life is precious. Pause there, take a deep breath in. Let it go. How is that sitting with you? What are you noticing? What's coming up for you? For me, the sadness, the sadness is still there. And it feels like it's gonna be there for a while. But I like the idea of, of focusing on the gratitude. So let's go with that. Even though I'm sad, I'm grateful. Grateful what the, for what the sadness is reminding me of. Even though I'm sad, it's reminding me how grateful I am for this life. Even though I'm sad and it's still really hard to wrap my head around all of it. I'm also really grateful for a multitude of things in my life. Sad and grateful. I can feel both of them. And it's okay. It's a tough time, but I'll be okay. I'm sad, but it's okay, I'm okay. Hmm. Saying it's okay doesn't, <laughs> doesn't exactly feel right for me. 
it doesn't feel okay. It doesn't feel okay that my friend's son isn't going to have a mother. But he will be okay. Will be okay. We support each other in this life. And honoring these feelings is important. And I know I'll be okay. Even if I don't feel okay right now, I know I will be. Take a nice deep breath in. And let it go. I hope that by honoring the feelings that you're having and honoring the sadness and honoring the grief that you are able to take those baby steps through it um, as opposed to continuing to suppress those feelings. It's important that we allow ourselves to feel whatever it is that we're feeling. And for me right now, it's, it's sadness. So I will just leave you with that and I'm sending so much love and light your way and know that we're all here to, to support each other. And if I can ever be of support to you as you are going through heavy emotions, please reach out. Um, you can connect with me via the links in the description below and, um, Sending all the love your way. Take care, guys.